Hey guys, it's me. I was in a closet. I'm coming out of it. It's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday night actually. I'm getting dressed just to catch you guys up. Welcome to the Johannesburg vlog. Okay. All right, anyway, Christina's here. She arrived yesterday. I'll insert a clip of her um, arriving at the airport. It was funny. I thought she had gotten lost. I thought I was gonna have to call Liam Nelson to come find her, you know, but she made it through customs. Let me insert the video. Tina. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> you wanna introduce yourself again? <laughs> so today we didn't do much. She was jet lagged, so she slept for a little bit. And then we went and did the hop on hop off bus tour. There is no reason for me to vlog that. I've taken you guys there. If you're new here, you haven't seen it, I'll insert the video in the description box so you can watch it. I had a, a lot of fun. Um, and if you're visiting Joburg, please support the, um, the Hop On Hop Off bus tour. So anyway, we did that and now we are back home and we are getting ready to go to Alt, Alto. Is it Alto? Yeah. Alto 234. And it is a bar, it's a rooftop bar on the tallest building on it. I know somebody's gonna be in comments talking about it ain't the tallest building, the tallest building is in Egypt, but it ain't. This is the tallest building, okay? Okay, 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 so yeah, so we're getting dressed. Our reservation is at seven, um, and it is like 6.45, so we gotta go. So I'll see you guys in a minute, let's go. All right, so we made it, but we have no idea where the hell we're going. Christine, you, you all in the, Mirror it girl, we got to push. We finally got the right directions. So to get there, you have to go to level three, turn right, talk to reception, and reception checks you in. Is this for me? Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. We appreciate it. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Welcome to South Africa, girl. <laughs> Stairs to escort you up, come out, you see like the wet, uh, little bar, they have a little vending machine. And let's talk about this. Pay for the views. These views are amazing. Enough view, come back, come back, come back, come back, girl, come back. That's enough view. And the views are amazing. It's not really busy. I say if you want to come up and you want to take some really good pictures, come during the week because I mean, Ain't nobody in here but us. You know, maybe like, maybe like six groups, maybe? Seven? Um, but it's real cute up here. If you want some food, all they got is tapas. I mean, I'm not even sure if it's real. Do you think it's heavy tapas or do you think it's just like regular tapas? Right. <laughs> real life. Meals real life. So, eat a snack before you get here. They have a wet machine. We're gonna try to get a coin. Throw a little coin in there. A little cute photo moment. Tina's having a good time. I'm happy we came. Cheers again, friend. Grab your little... Can you hold the phone and do that at the same time? Let me see. Don't be flicked, girl. Cheers, bitch. All right, guys, the waiter just left, and I am very distraught right now. Are we not distraught? Mm, yeah, she's yes. very distraught. Um, <laughs> Unprofessional, unacceptable. Okay, calm down. It is professional. <laughs> she took it too far. Took it too far. Anyway, so the Moet machine is broken. He said they got to have somebody from France to come and fix it. So that whole experience is null and void. So if you're looking for that, it ain't happening until the machine fix. I ordered a Hennessy Sour. It's still trying to figure out what she's drinking. Um, but we got wings and bao buns and some tacos. So, I'll show you guys the food and drink when it arrives. Hey guys, it's me. It is Wednesday. I think it's around 10.30. And um, no Christina. Christina is still in bed. 
Jet lag is hitting her hard. We had a full day of activities planned, but I'm just gonna let her sleep in at least till noon. And I'm just gonna run a couple of errands. Alright guys, so I'm just leaving. Again, the Starbucks. I saw some of my little Starbucks friends. But you already know I had to ask, what the hell is going on? They're talking about they looking for a space and shit like that. But what the hell is the space? So they have no clue when they're opening up a new space. They're about to try to grab this microphone. Let's see if I can find something. Oh guys, I don't think I told you the drink I got. I got a vanilla ice matcha. Very tasty. And I went inside of the electronic store and the guy, I basically told him what I needed it for just to kind of like hold me over until I am, some man is walking up to my door. Hold on. Was the parking attendant telling me to move the hell out of the way? So let me do this real quick. This can hold me over and it's actually a really good product. So we'll see. I'm gonna try it out. Use this until my mom comes. So. Right now, I'm just head back, uh, wake Christina the hell up if she's not awake, and then we're just gonna start our day. All right, guys, let's go. I was finally able to get Christina out of the house. <laughs> Girl, it's okay. I told him you had jet lag. So we are at Constitution Hill. And I just showed you guys some of the women museum because the last time I came, I didn't show you guys much. And the plan today is we're gonna finish touring the Constitution Hill. And then we're gonna go over to the Apartheid Museum. Are you excited about your tours, Christina? Very excited <laughs> to learn about history. Oh, okay. It is. It's really a former series. Nice. Okay. So we'll do this, guys, and BRB. Okay, so Christina, we are here now at the Part Time Museum for first. Tell me what you thought about the Constitution Hill. Um, I really enjoyed my time at the Constitution Hill. It was very informative. Mm. Also, I got to see. Well, our fellow people went through. So it was kind of oh, sad. It was sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you're going to learn a lot here at the Apartheid Museum. We are starting here at the beginning. So, let's go. Okay, so we just finished up with the Apartheid Museum. So, Christina, you went to Constitution Hill. You went to the Apartheid Museum. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. You learned a lot of history. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy you came now. And I'm actually happy that I went back because they had the Desmond Tutu exhibit. And you can go in and you can get what? What is this called? One of his quotes. One of his quotes. And I'm going to read you my quote, guys, that I've selected. <clears throat> One individual, no matter how powerful, how clever, cannot survive without other human beings. So the best way to fulfill your wishes, to reach your goals, is to help others and to make more friends. I believe that. Amen. Amen. That's so we had a great day. We had a great day. I didn't show you guys a lot simply because um, I've done that in other videos. So we're just gonna go home, refreshing up, and then we're going to dinner tonight and we'll pick up then. Yeah, it's because I'm hungry, child. Okay, girl. It's, you, you're not, it ain't about you. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Hey, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, y'all. It is me. 
in the closet. I'm inside my closet, y'all. is filthy. And it needs to be cleaned. I have this struggle pile over here in the corner. I'm having some tea this morning. Some me time tea. I actually got this cup for Brandon for Christmas. I'm having some ginger lemon green tea. I'm trying to help my throat a little bit. Recap on yesterday. I didn't vlog much because the places that Christine and I went, I've already taken you guys. You've already seen it. If you're a season, season subscriber, if you're not a season subscriber, please go back and watch the videos. Okay, I'll insert the videos here. Um, so we went to Constitution Hill. We also went to a part-time museum. Then we went to my favorite ramen place. You guys know what, where that is. Um, Obento. Very delicious. I wanted Christina to be able to experience that. We were supposed to go to this other restaurant. I think it's called Wild Things. But we were too tired. We were hot, tired, nasty. We were ready to come home. Just chill for the rest of the night. So on today's agenda, I have a dentist appointment at 12 o'clock. Christina is still in the bed, jet lag, taking her through it. So we'll go to Mall of Africa, and then I'm going to take you guys and her to Rosebank to a market that's downstairs next to the Woolies. Later tonight, her, Brandon, and I are going to this restaurant inside Santa City Mall. Um, but supposedly it's really good. They have like jollof rice, and y'all know, y'all may not know this, but I love jollof rice. But we'll do that. Speaking of jollof rice, and me probably not needing it, I have a photo shoot, guys. I have a photo shoot. Um, but the photo shoot isn't until August, thank the Lord. <laughs> I mean, thank Jesus, it's not until August. Because one thing about me, I need to lose some weight. And that is just a fact. You know, I think this is the heaviest I've been in, like, years, honestly. Insert picture of what my goal weight is, or insert video, of what my goal weight is um, for this photo shoot. I mean, I have a couple months. I mean, what's this month? I mean, I got like five, six months. I just need to figure it out, you know. And the thing about me, honey, I like to snack, but I also like to eat whole meals. And it's been very difficult for me to like push away from the table. But I mean, with this photo shoot coming up, guys, I'm going to have to push away from the table. So that's that. So I need to start focusing on that. I think I'm just going to start really focusing whenever Christina leaves. And you know what? It's not the exercise part. I don't mind going to go run. I can run. And I don't mind going to the gym. But it's just, I like to eat. The older I get, the more I like to eat. I mean, I like to eat. And I just need to figure that out. It's terrible. Maybe I need to go to hypnosis. To, like, snap me out of liking cookie cakes and pies. But we'll see. So that's my plan for the day. And we'll talk about this whole, like, weight journey on another day. guys i'm back i just left um the dentist my mouth is numb i can't feel nothing i can't feel nothing this was okay i mean we was tussling in that chair a little bit um i had to stop at clicks and grab my prescription for my dermatologist now i'm back uh christina's ready but she's staring at me looking crazy what don't shoot me honey <laughs> Mile of Africa. Um, and then we'll probably go to Linden, the Linden area, and get like a late lunch. Hey guys, I recently just learned, maybe like two days ago, that Christina has only seen three of my videos. She didn't even know how many videos I got. Oh my God, the damn thing is out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we gotta walk up the escalator. But we made it to Mall of Africa. Let me show you guys around. And guys, they have an H&M home. Christine, you wanna go inside? Yeah. All right, let me show you guys a little bit of H&M home. So H&M Home is super, super nice. They have a lot of nice dishware, bedding, rugs, all kinds of things. 
Um, let me show you guys my favorite cutlery and dishware at the moment in here. I think that this colorway is so nice. A little saucer, little mugs, even these cups and little glassware is really nice. And they have the larger plate down there. They even have like serving dishes down there too. It's like a little serving tray. It's nice. My actual uh, green plates that I have. I'll show you guys when I get home, maybe if I remember. Um, they're from here. Let me show you a little bit more. They even got a little baby section for y'all who got kids. Let me show you if the baby section is cute. And then of course they have like duvet covers and um, pillows and throws. They got a little sales section. Let's see what's in the sales section. Nothing in the sales section I want, but you ready? All right, let's go, y'all. wanted to come into true I think it's true worth um, she saw a cute little leather jacket she wants to look at now if I can find her Christina okay do you see anything oh this is a cute workout how much is it girl I don't know where your calculator I don't know internet. girl I don't know off the top of my head how much it is why can't you use it Lord Jesus, hold on one second. Do you want to apologize to me? Nope. Because the app actually worked? Nope. You want to show the people the app so when they come, they'll know the app? Show the people the app. Show your phone. Girl, pull it up so I can see. Pull your phone up. There you go. Girl, not too close. Jesus. I can't see this. Where is it at? XE. This is the app, guys. When you come to South Africa, download this app and so you can do the conversions. Thank you so much for being my assistant. All right, guys, let me show you the food court. They have like a lot of different restaurants. They have a Pizza Hut. They have a, a it's called a knot. Um, it is so delicious. Um, then they have like a Fishway. That's kind of like our Captain D's, have Burger King. And they also have a Spur. And the Spur is kind of like, um, I think it's like a TJ Fridays. Let me show you. The IMAX. I saw it in IMAX and it was absolutely amazing in IMAX. The bread place, y'all, that place right there. That place is absolutely, Christina, get the hell out of the way. That place is absolutely delicious. <laughs> That is Brandon and I's favorite sandwich place, Lucky Bread. If I was able to franchise that, I will 100% do it. It's so delicious. We'll have to have it before you leave. Is it coffee good? Yeah, I mean, I ain't never got the coffee. I don't know. But I was talking about the sandwiches. I was just telling Christina, I don't come to this mall enough. This is a nice mall, right? Yeah. I mean, what would you say? Which one's better, Sanson or here? Uh, I like both. You like both? Yeah. I think people might prefer 
Santa City Mall just because of like the Diamond Walk and all of that. Um, and the more expensive stores. Because this mall doesn't have like the Gucci and all of that. But it's a really nice mall. Let me show you guys um, the outside like restaurants and stuff. I'm not even gonna disrespect the designer by uh, mispronouncing his name, but that's one of Brandon's favorite stores. The designer actually won an award, I'm not sure what the award was for, but in 2021. So if you're here, please check that shop out. It's really nice. Um, buy and support. Okay, so we just left Zara. Zara has some really cute things. I saw two shirts that I may possibly get, but we'll see. So I'm gonna grab Brandon a little. Little snack. He loves these scones at the Lucky Bread, so I'm gonna get him one of those. And then we're gonna head to happy hour. Just left um, Brian Laura. Christine, let me get your honest opinion. My food, honestly, was bland. It needed some no salt. Skin. Them mushrooms were not mushrooming. Yeah. They taste like they just threw it in a bag dirt. And, and put it in the um, fryer. Your onion rings were good though. Yeah, they were good. Um, my meal was fine. I just had the fries. Um, I'm taking a, a takeaway from my chicken. I would say you just had fries. Mm. Well, bitch, I ordered fries and chicken tenders, but I ate the fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we had the drinks. You're a terrible co host. We had the drinks. We had the drinks. I don't know the name of my drink, but rum you're, punch. the rum punch was disgusting. Actually. It was like a little cinnamon taste. It didn't taste like the rum punch that we're used to. Too, yeah, like sweet. Yeah, yeah. It was like spicy, like some yeah. kind of like cinnamon or clover yeah, like or something. Like, a, like it had a little bit of a splash of fireball or something in there. No not fireball. fireball. Fireball liquor. You know Girl, it didn't taste like having a fireball. And then I splash. It's a cinnamon taste. You just made it up. No, the cinnamon taste. All right. You anyway, y'all. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're about to head home, and then we'll have dinner later. Don't know the name of the restaurant. Do you remember the name of the restaurant? Um, Home Baz. I don't know. She don't know. That. All right. Talk to you later. Okay guys, we have made it to the restaurant. Um, how do you pronounce this place? Hambaz? Um, Hambaz and Hambaze. And um, you don't tell my Hambaz. Hambaze in, um, in Santon City. And I'm looking forward to Jollof Rice, but I'm not sure if they have it. The lady says she ain't sure. She wants to the back to check. They have plantains. I don't really like plantains. I'm hoping for it. <laughs> I'm hoping for the jollof rice, so we'll see. Um, they have a lot of good stuff. They have um, goat, they have um, oxtail, they have lamb, they have, they even have fried goat. I ain't never heard of no fried goat. Fried goat? I don't have that. 
it's like a grit, you think? Yeah, I ain't never had that. I'm probably gonna skip on that one. But um, we'll see what we get. Fla flavors of South Africa. And then they have like combo meals, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, let me figure out what I'm gonna get and I'll BRB. Okay, so we just ordered. Uh, Christina got the curry goat with basmati rice and some fufu. And Brandon got the fried rice. They out of jollof rice, y'all. They out of jollof rice. Brandon got the lamb chops with fried rice, and then I got oxtails and fried rice. She said the oxtails were amazing. So I am super excited. Everybody is sitting around looking real hungry. So I don't know if it's gonna take a long time for the food, but everybody looking hungry. So um, I'll show you guys the food when it comes out. Whew, guys, the food was delicious. It's in Nelson Mandela Square. So delicious. You have to check it out. We're about to head home because we're tired, okay? See y'all tomorrow. Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday, my friends. 10 o'clock. I've had a busy morning, actually, this morning. I went to the grocery store. I went to Woolies as soon as it opened. I didn't vlog that. I've took y'all to Woolies before. I'm cooking today, y'all. I am cooking a southern dinner because a raggedy friend is visiting. Y'all know who she is. Her name is Christina. And she asked me to cook. So I'm cooking today. We're going to spend the majority of the day at home, but we may go to a couple other places. But this will be nice. I've never vlogged just being at home and doing things. So let me show you guys what I am making today. It's very southern, very Alabama. That's where you bore from. So let me show you guys. On the menu today, I am making a meatloaf, my famous BLT meatloaf. Um, this, I'm in the beginnings of it right now. And then I'm making macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna make a corn casserole. And I'm also gonna make broccoli two ways, like a regular broccoli, um, just steamed with a little butter and salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna make a um, broccoli casserole. So yeah, and I'll, oh, also too, I'm making a ham. The ham's already in the oven. This is what Christina, her, that's what she asked for. Christina, are you thankful that I'm making this food? I'm very thankful. You should be. Not the raggedy part, but thank you. Girl, okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, so I'm gonna get to cooking and then I'll be back and show you guys some of the things I'm making. Oh, excuse the trash can. But look how clean the kitchen is. This is how I cook. I cook in a very clean kitchen, okay? I went ahead and seasoned it a little bit. I put paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. Now I'm gonna add an egg. Little egg, hey egg. Add a little egg, boom, just like that. Then it calls for uh, butter, a little melted butter. So we're gonna put butter on this side so I won't cook the egg. And then I need some mayo. I didn't even open this up. Just like that. So then I'm gonna add the mayo. This is the mayo that's in Woolworths. We don't really eat a lot of mayo, but I was like, oh, where's the, the Hellman's or the regular mayo? But it just says tangy, but I guess all mayo is tangy. Is all mayo tangy? Mm -hmm. It's not? Okay. Well, hell, we don't know. We're gonna see what it tastes like. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of mayo to the ancestors tell me to stop, and the ancestors said stop. And then I'm just gonna mix this all up, and then I'm gonna dish it in the like, pan over here, pan over there, pan over there. And then I'm gonna put it right in here inside this dish. So we're gonna butter it or oil it, whatever, and then throw it in the oven. Okay guys, I forgot, I already started mixing, but I forgot the most important ingredient, the freaking sharp cheddar cheese. And Christina loves sharp cheddar cheese, so that's why I'm making it. Don't you love sharp cheddar cheese, Christina? Yeah. Guys, Christina's being my helper. She's being my camera girl. And you just sprinkle the cheese like that, like so. You don't wanna make a mess. Um, so I'm gonna do it until the ancestors say stop, and the ancestors said stop. Stop, okay. All right, and then I, like I said, I'm gonna mix this all together, put it in the pan, and throw it in the oven. Anytime, so if you get a gift during the day or whatever. Yeah. If you get a spot, just book it and you come through. The chef should eat first. Now, girl, go ahead and eat. Okay, guys, I took a little haircut break. I'm back. Um, dinner is done. I gotta serve, not serve. I gotta feed some hungry bitches. Look at them. Look how hungry they look. Especially that one right there with the come on now. But as always, be good to others, but also be good to yourself. See you in the next video.